All right, everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, and this video is going to be another quick one, uh, and it's going to be on layer setup because I still get a lot of questions about this. Uh, I have covered this in other videos, but I've not done a video where we're just talking about that. So I, I sort of like these short videos because I can point people to them to get their questions answered instead of typing the same answers over and over and over. So. So here, uh, this is a new project. I don't know if I can talk about what it is. But you can see I've just imported the, it's a TIFF file uh, with the inks on there. You can see I'm just showing the uh, Photoshop uh, background layer, and that's it. And people like to talk about channels and, and um, all sorts of complex ways of creating alpha there's uh, there's a really easy way to set up your layers, and that's what we're going to do today. So first I'm going to double-click the background, and I'm just going to call it inks. That's what I like to call it. I'm going to set the mode to multiply, and that's it. So we have inks layer, multiply. That's step one. Number two, I'm going to make a new layer, put it beneath the inks, and I'm going to call it flats. And this is where I would go in and flat my colors, uh, as you've seen me do in, in many other videos. Um, I like to fill it with a, with a base color first, just a little bit easier on the eyes to me. But I won't be doing the flats on this. I'm just really making, uh, making an example here. But So once I've got everything flatted, let's say just so we've got something here to show you. We're going to flat this house. Okay, bam. All right, so flats layer. The next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer and call it colors. I don't want to color on my flats layer because I want to keep those uh, the way they are so that I can always go back no matter what I do. Uh, if I go in here and do a bunch of coloring on this, I can always go back to the flats layer here and, and grab that entire uh, area if I want to make corrections to that. So, so again, one more time just to show you how easy this is. We have the background layer. I'm going to change that to an inks layer. Uh, rename it to an inks layer, that's what I call it. And set it to multiply. And then I'm going to make a new layer. And put it below the inks layer. And call it flats. And then I will do my flatting, and then duplicate this layer, and call that colors. And then I'm going to color on that layer. So uh, that is really all I do. Um, the The next step, uh, which you've already seen in the other video for, I can't remember what the name of it was, uh, the selection trick, as I call it, uh, where I go in and render on top of that. You'll have to watch that video to see how that works. That's the uh, the selection trick video, uh, which is just uh, three or four videos ago. But anyway, that's my layer setup. It's very simple. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's enough to get started coloring. So uh, I know I've co co covered this in other videos before, but again, uh, it still gets asked a lot. So, uh, so anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That helps a lot, and uh, like the video down there at the bottom. And don't forget about my coloring course. It's only $49. It's a totally comprehensive coloring course that goes into great detail about all of these things, and you get all of my the swatches and the presets and the brushes, and you get all of those nifty downloads as well. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk soon.